Hello, everybody. We're here at SPX 2018. My name's Joe. My name's Rusty. And we have with us John Green, or John, John Patrick Green. Yeah, let's clarify. Yes, I have, to, I have to specify I am John Patrick Green. For legal reasons. It's all right. Ever yeah. since. Ever since the incident. Mm -mm -mm. Things so, happened. Okay. So, John, you are a longtime SPX exhibitor. I am, yes. Yeah, I mean, I, I think I've lost count. I know I've missed. I didn't come to the very first one. I think I came to either the second or third one. We first saw you at the third one. Okay, that I may have been the met, first was, one yeah. that I ever did. And I think I missed three since then. So, yeah, I guess I'm old school. Oh, definitely yeah. old school. <laughs> I mean, at least old, right? Absolutely. At least old. I yes. think if there was time, if there was like a single photo of me at every single one, you could see me like I'd be like the guy at the end of uh, Last Crusade, you know, the yes. slowly getting yeah. older. Yeah, I mean, really, you really know, fast. as you as the realities of our existence dawn upon you d year after year. Yeah. It all catches time, up Time Time is getting shorter, too. Oh, yeah, I know. It's funny. It happens to the best of us. So why wouldn't it happen to us? <laughs> <laughs> it happens to better people than us. That's what I'm so. saying. Yeah. yeah. I like to throw that we one out no there hope. sometimes, but some people don't pick up on it. Uh, so tell us about your new book. Yeah, yeah. so my new book... Uh, is uh, a little more upbeat than our current mood. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's called uh, segue. yeah, it's called Kitten Construction Company. <laughs> Meet the house kittens, and uh, it's about some adorable little kittens who want to build houses. They want to run a construction company, uh, but no one will take them seriously because they're cute little kittens. So, uh, wh how would you say that these kittens found their interest in the house making? world uh well uh just like any uh uh young person before they've been disillusioned by the realities of existence Let's talk about it uh they went to school and got degrees oh that was nice <laughs> that was good good for them and then afterwards they discovered the realities of the yeah. job market right now did they have to go to a kitten specific school uh, oh, that's that a really good not, question. I'm getting deep into the build, yeah, world building here. Uh, that's not uh, uh, laid out within the text. <laughs> um, maybe they did, but you know, I went to I went to art school, and you know, there's only maybe a little bit of, of overlap with the nature of being an artist and being, say, an architect, like designing things, creating creating things. Uh, and so for me, it was just this idea of you go to school and, yeah, everyone's going to encourage you and encourage your interests and stuff and be like, oh, yeah, you're great. It's going to be great when you get out of school. Um, but then when that actually happens and you're out of school, you're like, oh, no, yeah, what, <laughs> what have I done? For any of this. Um, and so I don't know if it was a, maybe she got a kitten specific uh, scholarship. <laughs> sure, that makes you know, sense. That makes sense. But I think I, I, like I, I'm kind of imagining in my school that in my head that she went to a school that was a normal, a normal human institution. So, in, so in this world, it, the world is dominated by humans. It, it's yeah, it's it's just like our world basically, mm -hmm. except there are sentient cats that can talk and uh, go to school and go to school mm -hmm. and run businesses. Once people give them the chance to. Given the opportunity. Exactly. Yes. That's what it's all about. So they're, they're building homes. They're yes. building buildings. Yes, they are building buildings. Are they good at it? They are indeed good at it. That's the thing. You wouldn't think they were, right? I, I mean, I, like, I would say I don't have a lot of strong opinions on what type of vocations cats would be good at. But construction is very complicated. Yeah, and I is. would think just, you know, just a regular person off the street, they might have trouble with it. So if a cat is an excellent at it, whoa, Even goodness. So. Yeah. I mean, it's all, about, it's all about them, you know, proving that they're good at what they say they're good at. You know, but it was tough for them. So one of them, uh, he's an electrical engineer, but no one would hire him. So the only job he could get is as a dishwasher. Uh, and then there's a cat who's a plumber, and she just finds herself stuck in a pet store. Now, working in the pet store or being... That's what I was just about to ask. Uh, that's a good question. She didn't even know. Wow. <laughs> like, that's... There's the whole she's thing. Yeah, she's just there. And uh, I think she gets fired, and she's like, I don't even work here. 
Yeah. I like so. that. Thank you. So, so I guess, what made you want to tell the story about these kittens and, and their interest in the vocation? Uh, well, I, I, I kind of, um, I always usually start with some wordplay or a pun or something. And I'm like, that's funny. I'll make an entire story based off of it. Uh, and so initially, just the, the concept of a house kitten, uh, because most people have heard the term house cat, right. for instance. And that's a pretty common thing. Oh, yeah, a house cat. And I remember just asking someone, is, so is house kittens a phrase? Like, if you have a house, kit, a house cat, can you have a house kitten? And people are like, I don't think that's a thing. And I'm like, I'll make it a thing. And, right. and it just kind of morphed, the story morphed from there. Like, initially, at one point, it was about kittens that were shaped like houses. Oh, wow. And then it became uh, kittens that um, were sort of like, they also ran a business, but they were more like, I'd say they were more like Ghostbusters. What they would do is like people would come to them and be like, my house is drafty. And the kittens would show up and be like, oh, well, you have really bad insulation. We'll re-insulate your house, you know, seal off the windows or whatnot. But then they would discover that, no, actually the house is haunted. And that's why it's drafty. Um, but the kittens would solve the problem by being so adorable that the ghosts would follow the kittens out of the house. Oh, wow. Well, what happened to the ghost then? Well, then what happened, the, the, the story kind of concluded with the uh, kittens stuck where they live with all, like, well, all these other supernatural creatures oh, wow. that they exercised from these Just other... They back. burned themselves exactly. for everybody else's good, good Yeah, good exactly. You know? Now, one thing I do like, though, is that that doesn't necessarily contrast or conflict with this. So you could still do that story within the I, That's universe. true. I could. You know, it, it'd be a spinoff, you know, yeah. that... Kitten, kitten construction company paranormal division. Well, just yes. like any good spinoff from like you know our childhood cartoons, like one of their cousins would just show up yeah. and be like, "Oh, how's your how's your your ghost business going?" That's and then right. you would have a whole story about just their ghost business. Backdoor pilot. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so, so these cats, they're they're trying to make their way in this world. Yes. Um, now they are adorable. Was it they hard are. to continuously draw them being adorable? Uh, at times, yes, because, you know, I want to convey a lot of emotion in the kittens' faces and whatnot, um, but I also want them to constantly be cute, Yeah. right? So there are times when they're supposed to be angry or shouting, you know, because they're frustrated with always being cute all the time. Um, but like, but I still wanted to make sure that even when they're angry, they are cute. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, which I suppose in some ways I'm doing a disservice to you're, the You're cat. undermining the, the, their yeah, emotions. I'm, uh, it's undermining. like a new meta level. <laughs> That's right. I mean, goodness <laughs> you know? gracious. Let these cats be angry. Let them be yes. ugly. It's like, no, 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 no. Sorry. Sorry, <laughs> little illustration of a kitten. You're going to be cute no matter what. <laughs> it's better for the story this way. Sorry. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Is. So this is on the tales of your other book about an animal. With a job. Yeah. yeah. Many jobs. Yes. Yes. My previous book, uh, Hippopotamister, which is about a, a hippo and a red panda who lived in a zoo. And uh, the zoo was kind of falling apart. So they're like, we're going to blow this joint. And they leave and they try out all these other human jobs. Um, you know, and then that was a similarly sort of like a journey of self-discovery, like finding what you're good at and what you like to do. Um, and that seems to be my, you know, current ongoing theme that I have with my, my work now. Yeah, it sounds like you have these animals looking for their place in the world. That's right. Yeah, because the humans are taking over and the animals are like, I want a piece of that. Uh, why wouldn't they? Yeah. yeah. So speaking of red pandas, we have a pretty famous red panda in the area. Did yeah. it escape? Yeah, it did. <laughs> oh, yes. Yeah. I'm not even joking. No. I believe you. No, sorry. And... Uh, was this no. at the, the, the zoo, the yeah. National Zoo? The National whatever? Zoo in DC. Oh, okay. There's a special his, connection to someone here. His name is Rusty. Ah, okay. And what happened was there was a storm, and a tree fell in the enclosure that oh. made a ramp up to the wall. And he, and was he like, wasted oh. no time. <laughs> <laughs> and then was just spotted throughout different neighborhoods in DC yeah. hanging out, checking people out. Was, it, was he eventually. Uh, they shot it. What? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> now to bring this, I was like, bring this cute story I back around. Like, I hesitate to use a word like captured or yeah. imprisoned. Was and you're like, was no, he, he's dead. Was he ever rescued from the wild? Uh, yeah, yeah the, the wild suburbs. 
the happy ending. He was humanely captured. Okay. Uh, and then he was so, the word, so wily and creative that they didn't trust him in his enclosure anymore. But he was also... <laughs> Untrusty Rusty? Yes. <laughs> and so they, That's good. Uh, he was also um, very social, though, so they moved him to... <laughs> I see a lot of parallels was he, like, here. Was he captured at, like, a disco? Yes. Yeah. That's a social he was red band. Like, he was, was captured doing interviews yeah. at SPX. Like, Can I finish my conversation before you take me back? He's like, yeah, I know you got me. Let me just finish up. So they took him to a uh, satellite program that they have for the zoo where it's, like, a breeding program. Satellite? So they're going to put him in the space? Yeah, yeah. Space right now. Okay, yeah. that's awesome. That's and your so dream. It's a space breeding program. Space breeding. The space yeah. breeding program? For space red band. Pandas. Yeah. yeah. So that's what he's doing. They're raising baby pandas in zero G. It's an experiment. Man. That sounds pretty awesome. That sounds like a good book. So he's got it. He's kind of got it made, I guess, at this point. They're yeah. putting, you know, they're like, hey, this this red band has got it. Go-. You know, he meets a lot of new people. He goes out, you know, so he's a, he's an extroverted red panda yep. is what you're saying. What, what this, I think, teaches is that it's it's best to break the rules. It to, is. Because yes. then out. you get right. rewarded. Yeah. Break those rules, and if you get caught, be like, hey, it's my nature. <laughs> and you'll be rewarded. Did any of your kids break the rules to make it? Uh, any code violations? Poor wiring? Any code violations? No, they did a really, really good job in this, I think. Um, you know, I wanted to show that they are very, very competent kittens. There are a bunch of humans that really screw up, though. Uh, and the kittens save the day. Um, though in this, the sequel book, they they become a little less confident. You know, they're they're you know that's where the the real test of their ability comes in sure. the sequel. Well, it's just like in the Karate Kid two. So in the Karate Kid one, he wins the tournament the by Karate cheating. <laughs> I've always wondered about that myself. Yeah. But in the Karate Kid two, he faces a whole new challenge. That's true. Like that is nothing. There's no rules. What will he do in this world? And I think the kittens are facing the same sort of challenge. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So, um, what was I going to ask you? It was really good. <laughs> this is embarrassing. And I had a really good answer. Yeah. If you just leave it there, you can take full credit for a really good question or a really good answer. Yeah, well, you know, I guess we're going to have to. I'm disappointed well, you know in myself. What's that? a really good question. Oh, what's a good question? Oh, okay. Would you like to answer a mystery question? A mystery question. Yes, definitely. Yes. Okay, so I just turn this knob. Yeah, which way? Reset it. That there way. You go. Okay, quarter. Oh, I have to put a quarter in. Oh, yeah. okay. It's a full pay. This service. is yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, I remember my question. Okay. Right, so are you afraid yeah, of start. getting any backlash from humans for being portrayed as incompetent? Uh, <laughs> as <a villains>? No. <laughs> okay. Good. They can deal with it. They can deal with it. There are no lies <laughs> in this. Okay. <laughs> Where's the lie, humans? You can, yep. Rusty has two microphones now. Smooth. Looks good. Oh, this okay. is a long one. What is this? Wow. All right. This is a book. Jeez. Wait, wait, wait. It. Hold on. Right. He was just trying to help you, John. <laughs> That's fine. No, no. There's, it mentions you guys by name. Oh, oh. <laughs> shit. Oh, no. It's all falling apart, box. I mean, I'm not allowed to say anything to Rusty according to this question, so I don't know if I can read it. Hey, Rusty, you're, one of yours are, of yours oh, not working. Do you know what? Do you, do you know what this? Oh yeah, hold your ears. Okay, it says, please don't say anything to Rusty, but I'm breaking up with him. If you can help me, give me a thumbs up. <laughs> Signed, Joe. Yeah, I remember. I'll I'll do my best, Joe. Thanks. Hey, Rusty, come on. Hey, buddy, come on back. Cool. It was, bu- it, 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 it was a bust. I saw the thumbs up. It was a yeah no, it was a bust. It was a, I, it was a mistake I'd put in there a long time oh, ago. Oh wow, okay. This is oh so yeah, it says on it dated two thousand four. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I have. Uh, that was that was been in there for a while. People it's change. Clearly, uh, yeah, you you've gone, been, you've worked through some things. Oh, I just no, I'm just really indecisive. <laughs> yeah. You every year you're refilling that and you come back to this question and you're like. I'm going to leave it in another year. Yeah, this totally. September, we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Maybe this will be it. Now, John, if people wanted to learn more about you, your work, anything yes. else like that, where can they find you online? Uh, well, I'm uh, at John Green Art uh, at Twitter, on Twitter. Um, I'm on the Facebooks if you want to find me there. Uh, otherwise, www.johngreenart.com on the uh, information superhighway. Oh, I love that place. Yes. So much fun. I hang out there quite often. 
Well, thank you so much for talking with us. Yes. Thanks for having me, you guys. It's always fun to be at SBX. Yes. Be Very with happy you lovely to have folks. You this year. Thank you.